Does manga matter? And I mean in relation to anime, like does the manga affect the anime or vice versa? Now this really is an interesting question because I do get a lot of comments talking about how I shouldn't judge the anime because the manga was good or I should read the manga before judging the anime or the manga provides all the questions that I have, but does that matter? Now Giga Ray did a video which pretty much mirrors my thoughts on this, but with the new review coming out soon, especially with this new review that's coming out soon, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to defend this point again and again and again. And again. And again. And again. So when we're asking does the manga matter in relation to the anime, what we're really asking is does the source material matter to the adaptation? And again, like my last video, this is something that is seemingly very centered around anime. Because I mean, think about it. With Hollywood films, you have movies that are based on all types of source materials, especially nowadays. We very rarely get anything that's new or original. It's all source material. But some of them do it well and some of them not so well. So does the source material matter to those movies? Well, for something like Avengers, probably not so much. I mean, the movie doesn't really follow the comics at all, but it's still praised. Same thing with Civil War. Neither of them follow the comics that they're based off of, but they're praised, like, excessively by fans all around the world, and it's because they're good, regardless of whether or not they're following the source material, they're still good. And then if you go back a little bit further, you have something like The Crow, which is a comic book movie that came out in the 90s. And if you haven't seen The Crow, I'm not going to say you have to watch it, but it is a great example of an adaptation that actually outdid the source material. Because with The Crow comic book, it's basically just revenge porn. Just you flip to any page and there's just murder. That's all it is. It's literally just this guy getting revenge. That's all it is. But with the movie, it's so much more than that. There's like actual storyline and the guy can get hurt and there's like reasons for how his powers work and there's like this whole mythology that they build out of basically just a revenge porn comic book so there are some adaptations that actually do the source material not only justice but better but then you have your other side your aragons your dragon ball evolutions and your last airbenders I can't stop kicking the camera. I just, I kicked it like three times. And this is the thing that drives me insane about a manga anime relation. I'm gonna get back to those other three movies I just talked about in a second, but this is kind of the key point. When an anime is bad, people don't blame it on the anime. They don't say, oh no, the anime is bad. They say, no, 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 the manga is good. You have to go read the manga so that you have all the information to watch the anime. It's gonna inform you on the anime and it'll make the anime good, but that is not how adaptations work. If I said that about The Last Airbender, if I said, oh no, 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 you just, you have to go back, you have to watch this. You have to go back and you have to watch this and then the movie will be good. You would kick me in the balls. And I would let you kick me in the balls. And I'd give you my foot so you could kick me in the balls with my own foot. Because regardless of how good the series was, that movie is garbage. It is a bad adaptation because it didn't fully explain everything, because it didn't care about the source material, and because it didn't understand it, and it didn't bother to try and make the audience understand it. That is a bad adaptation. So if the adaptation is bad, it's not reflective on the source material. Source material is still amazing. The adaptation fucked up. Same thing with the Aragon and with the Dragon Ball Evolutions and with X3. All of those movies are terrible adaptations of something that was once amazing. If you haven't read Aragon, it is freaking phenomenal, but you wouldn't know it by the movie. I can't say that the movie's good because I own and read all four books. I love the books. The movie's garbage. And that's what we should be mad about. This is where that old idiom, too many cooks, comes from. It takes a lot to make a stew. When you have one chef in the kitchen, he might make something amazing. When you have two chefs in the kitchen, he might still make something amazing. When you have 30 chefs in a kitchen, they're going to argue, they're going to bicker, something's going to get left out, they're going to fuck something up. That's the point. Okay, for a really clear example, let's look at the new Ghost in the Shell test footage. looks amazing and some of you may think it looks like crap but for the people who think it looks like crap you can't say that sorry bro because the anime the the movie the, the manga all of the source material around it it was great you have to see that you have to read all that first right it's gonna inform the movie it's gonna make the movie better it's gonna elevate the movie it doesn't matter what the movie looks like all that other stuff was good right you see by saying that the manga explains everything or that it informs the anime you're saying the exact same thing you're defending something that is potentially bad just because 
you liked the manga or just because the manga did explain it. And I think I know the exact reason for this. You probably read the manga first. That's the thing about people is whatever way we take in media, however we took it in first, we tend to kind of latch onto it. Like, for instance, I really, really like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, okay? If they did a remake of the series or of the movie, I would kind of be hesitant about it, but I'd also really, really be excited because I loved it so very much. Same thing with uh, Serenity, right? The Firefly movie. It wasn't super good as a movie, but Firefly informed the crap out of it. So if you saw all Firefly, it made Serenity way better. But on its own, Serenity wasn't a very good movie. It just is what it is. I, I think we all need to kind of come to terms with that. It doesn't matter how you saw it first. The vast majority of people are going to see Serenity before they see Firefly because it came out in theaters. The vast majority of people are going to see the anime before they read the manga and it has to adapt it right. That's all there is to it. If it doesn't adapt it right, then it doesn't matter how intrinsically tied into you the manga was, how much you enjoyed it, how much you loved it. They screwed it over. They didn't adapt it correctly. And you should be mad about that, in all honesty. We all should be mad about that. If they don't do justice something that we love, then we shouldn't praise it. We should be infuriated by it. When you have something that you love, you want the best for it. You want people to enjoy it. You want to spread it to those that you care about. You want people that you respect, reviewers or commentators or what have you, to also enjoy it because you enjoy it and you respect these people and you respect their opinions and their attention and where it goes and what it falls on. And if they don't like it as much as you did, then it feels like there's this distrust being built between you and the screen. And that sucks, right? Because this person that maybe you respected, maybe you liked, is now shitting on something that you absolutely adored. But you have to look at it from their perspective. The anime, it did not live up to the thing that you built up in your head. The manga might be amazing, and if I reviewed manga, I'd probably be able to get in there and maybe even agree with a lot of these points being made on my videos. But I don't, and I'm not going to. I review anime, all these other reviewers, Giga, Karkata, you know, the big boys, they review anime too, so you gotta just take it for what it is. The anime has to stand alone, and if it doesn't stand alone, then it doesn't stand. But those are just my thoughts. Gigook actually did a way more eloquent video where he explained a little bit more in depth his feelings on it. I just kind of wanted to put my own spin on it because, again, I'm, I'm probably going to get a lot of those kind of comments really, really soon. Anyways, those are my feelings on manga in terms of how it relates to anime, and I really don't think that manga has a place in terms of anime reviews or things like that. But I do concede that there are two sides to this argument. If you have an argument or a counterpoint wherein you can defend how manga should relate to anime and how it should be taken into account, then I'm all about it. Hash it out down in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on it, and if if you can defend it, if you want to defend it, then please do, because I'm open to both sides of it, I just personally can't really see the argument for manga as it is. But then again, I'm not a manga guy. Oh, and by the way, the winner from the Steins Gate video contest that I forgot to put in the last video, because I'm an idiot, that's Derpalon. Bam, right here. You, you won. So just send me a message with all your information and stuff, and I'll, I'll send it to you. Congratulations. I don't, I don't have an outro for this yet. Bye. He's a loser. He's a loser. I got a new car driving slow from the start. It looks cool though. It looks cool though. It's not what I need. It's not what I feel. Now, Gigak already did a video about this a few weeks ago, and he pretty much mirrored everything that I feel about it, but...